Here's Mealy, round one. Stick has just stepped away for a moment, but we have begun the match. This is Bally. This is round one of the Kipper's Mealy. Not sure how many matches we will be having today. At table one, we have on the left hand side Patrick, and on the right hand, Sebastian. Sebastian is running some serious, janky looking list. Gun runners and Z95s. Amongst other things. Ah, here's Stickus. We started. Awesome. Yeah. Have a okay. seat. I've already started talking at the microphone. Of course you have. Yeah. Um, let's fuck my mouse. There. Okay. Okay. The well, big timer's one... going. In. It's here. a minute. Whatever. Two minutes. Where do you start that one? You hit the way down button there. over there, yeah. I just hit this one. All right. So, Valley, probably uh, thank you all for joining us. But I'm going to thank you all for joining us here no, on Peak Tech Industries as well. So, Stick is here. Valley, of course, my compatriot, uh, coming at you from Table 1 here at Kippers Malie in Nanaimo, B.C. So, Table 1, Round 1, we have Patrick uh, on the left side with uh, Pierre Sabak, uh, BT1, uh, Rex Brath with Juke, and Vermeil with Vader. Very slim trim list there. Nasty list. There. Nasty. Super nasty. And uh, Sebastian on the right side flying a scum swarm. So got a pair of Jakku gun runners, one with Deadman Switch, three Benary Pirates, L3 in the Escape Craft, and Drea with uh, Swarm Tactics and Dorsal Turret. Gosh, that gets small, doesn't it? <laughs> I should just read it off here. Yeah, you should. That would make more sense. Not the only scum swarm list we're seeing here today. No, there's a couple. Uh, there's another list. Hopefully this guy does well and gets up to table one today. He's got seven quad jumpers. Seven quad jumpers. You're not hearing anything wrong. There's no problem with your <laughs> audio to listening device. He did say seven quad jumpers. I Nothing really on did. them. Seven no. Jakku gun runners, completely naked, just Empty. ships. Beastly. Yeah. yeah, absolutely beastly. A lot of die rolls. Well, this is a lot of die rolls going on that Sebastian's got here too. Yeah, you know what? A lot of them are only two dice attacks, but two dice attacks. But it's add still up. it's seven ships on the board. Oh, oh, and we're already seeing uh, a geek tech uh, staple there. Bump early, bump often. Now, what, what bumping are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> what, what bumping are you talking about? Oh, uh, he, he knocked his uh, his gun oh, under there. Oh, that, I, that, that was uh, honestly that's the same thing I do every time. Oh, sorry. Oh, nudged it forward a millimeter. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> turn one advantage. That's right. If you're not cheating on turn zero, you're not cheating right. That's right. You just got to move your gear up. <laughs> oh, and the end jokes begin. Because <laughs> if you're not moving your gear up, you're doing it wrong. If you're not moving your gear up, you're probably not going to get full damage. So, so I would like to say thank you to everybody who is coming out to compete today. We actually, we reached cap today. We, we are, are at full capacity of 20 players. That, uh, of all, this is all the table space we got, and we're filling it. This is a fantastic showing here today. Yeah, no, it's good. Everybody's happy to be here. There's lots of jank on the table. Um, hell, there's a freaking um, uh, guy playing Morale and Weval over there with a docked and drew. What is even happening? Redefining the meta. I don't even know what that word means anymore. I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> F the meta. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's meta? What's meta, meta precious? What are you even talking about? Boil him, mash it, stick in a stew. So it looks like some slow rolling on uh, Sebastian's part. Patrick pushing for mail up the side of the board there. Looks like he's got some uh, medium speed maneuvers going on there. Reasonably quick. He's pushing up. Oh, and Rexler just slowing down a little, barrel rolling out, trying to keep those arcs open. And preparing himself for that next round. I wish you guys could see the rest of this. We have filled uh, one of the ballrooms here at the uh, Vancouver Island Convention Center. 
there will be pictures on phone. Oh yeah, there's there will be some pictures up so you guys can check that out. But it it is absolutely glorious. There's miniature games as far as the eye can see in this room right now. Uh, so we got uh, some War Machine going on. Uh, we got some 40k, some 30k. I think there's some Age of Sigmar going on. We got, of course, the lovely X-wing tables and all these wonderful gentlemen uh, playing X-wing here with us. It is a great day to die. Sorry guys, I had to step away for a minute there, but I'm back again. I'm uh, also trying to TO and marshal, so occasionally we might uh, deke, out, deke away briefly to uh, uh, offer some advice or some uh, information on rulings and such. And actually, let's double check the focus on this. There you go, that's a little sharper. Flipping his dials. Sebastian moving on up to a deluxe apartment on the east side. Well, we should go around and gather the other lists. So we still have outstanding here. Kyle, do we have Kyle's? Bear with us, folks. Like I said, we're uh, we're still. Well, it would be in here. Because I'm right here. I don't think he's Empire. Oh, there he is. I got him here. Sorry guys, we're also just doing a little bit of the upkeep here, just uh, getting the last couple of lists uh, uploaded and into people's bits and pieces. We're missing two lists all total. Only two now? I don't know whose they are, but I just did a count. We're missing two. Okay, I've got, I don't have Grams, I don't have Jonas. And I don't have Zane, or Sean, or Alex, what? or Scott, or Brendan. Load. Well, no, Alex. I was in in here. I don't. Know, I don't know what's in here yet necessarily. I think. Okay, we got that one. Oh, there's Alex. Okay. Oh, oh, he's uh, looks yeah. like he's splitting his forces a little. So, uh, I we'll didn't see realize it, but there's actually two of this exact same list being flown today. Oh, I didn't realize that either. There's another one over there on table ten. Of the, you mean the Vermeil no, Defender? Of no, of this uh, list. This swarm. Are you talking about? I'm not talking about the seven Jackus eh? right over there. Jonas. We're seeing this list twice here today. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, both these guys are from the mainland as well, so maybe that's some of the mainland meta coming across. Yeah. 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 Who 
also missing. Okay, we'll get Graham loaded up here. Huh. Wait, what faction is Graham playing? Graham is playing Empire. Oh, that's why. I'm not used to him playing Empire. He's one of the only guys we don't have yet. Okay. And then there is Zane, who is flying scum. Ooh, we're getting pretty close to getting some shots in here. I think we might actually see some dice rolls in this round. Yep, measuring for range. We have start of engagement. And it looks like no shot from the defender. So we got range three from Pierre Sabak. All right, so dice rolls are starting. So we have two hits. So a hit crit. And Sebastian ends up with One evade. I only have one shot. I can see him. All right, so he's shooting back. And that is one hit. Two of AIDS. All right, it looks like we are dropping to the next round. now. Sebastian's got his work cut out for him, getting these ships rearranged and set up. Oh, I missed that. There we go. And that was on number five, the dead man switch, dude. <laughs> there we go. I missed that. Damage sensor array, one damage. Looks like Sean White is another one that we don't have yet. And then Scott and Brendan when we have an opportunity. Oh, and is Jonas actually flying the same list? Oh, close. He's got the Pioneer instead, though. There's Graham. <laughs> I 
Thank you, sir. All right, dials are still going down. Looks like dials are down. They are ready. We're going to see some action now. Gunrunner moving up. Looks like he's trying to get within range of that tractor. I have a feeling we're going to see some serious fire exchange this round. So his looks like his action was to flip that car yep. down. Yep, flip the crit. Gets rid of that damage sensor array. Good call. And the rest of them slow rolling up there. Looks like he's trying to bring some guns to bear. Looks like some bump action already happening here. Okay, so, wow. So we currently have a three-way split on faction breakdown. Uh, one-third Empire, one-third Scum, and one-third Rebel. So an actual, uh, an almost perfect breakdown. Just a tiny bit of A smidgen more Scum, which uh, I think just simply shows the efficiency with the Scum ships right now. Scum, Scum on top. You betcha, it's a thing. It is a genuine thing, you betcha. Uh, could you get a list from Sean? Uh, Onyx Squadron dude? Wow, we got a serious bump train going on there with uh, Drea and the others there. Looks like uh, Sabak did the old bumperoo into quad jumper number or into gun runner number five. Vermeil slowly rolling up there. Maybe he'll take one of those two down. We'll see. All right, and then finally Rexler Brath moving up. Getting nice and tight in there. Ooh, that is going to be a really good looking shot. Oh, he almost skipped his action there with Vermeil. That was, uh, could have been potentially crippling. Okay, so he's got the full throttle evade, I think. And it looks like he's thinking hard on his next action there.
Oh, so we got triple zero triggering. Nobody in range. So no stress dish. And then it looks like, okay, Vader doing his thing now. He's going to reach out with range two in front of him. Checking to see his range. Okay. So he's going to Vader that. That is uh, Benary number two. Looks like he has a choice of either take a damage or remove the focus, of course, with Vader. He chose to remove the focus. Always a good idea. Dice roll here. Oh, double focus, hit crit. So we end up with hit crit crit. Sebastian gets a single focus. And we got one hit. Crit, crit is wounded pilot. Wounded pilot and disabled power regulator. And that's on binary number two. Oh, that was on the quad jumper. Okay. Ooh. Sable power regulator. Wounded pilot. Wow. Bad news. Boop boom. For that gun runner. Then my force. Okay, so now we're moving on to Sebastian's rolls here. He's measuring his arc. I think he has a, appears to have a range three obstructed yeah, on Reckler there. Anyhow, I have you in uh, an arc, range three to a rock. Okay, so here we go. Weapon. Primary weapon, two dice from Drea. And that is a crit and a focus. And, I'm sorry, what was your rolls? One evade. One evade, okay. And so that was. And uh, now he's measuring for that other gun runner. Looks like it's a range three obstructed through the rock again. And uh, there you go. Drea re-roll into one crit. And one of eight again, just enough. Just enough. All right, so that was uh, Drea taking her shot and then Drea boosting um, Binary Pirate number four. And we got his number four, which is Pierce Abak. Three hits and a crit. Three, uh, two hits and a crit. On number two. And one evade on that. And that was Binary number two. And Kalas, the best time. Oh, man. So that shields down and panics pilot. Which of course uh, dishes a whole lot of stress. Now panics pilot flips down as soon as you've dished the stress, right? Uh, uh, as soon as I get the stress, it yeah, flips down. it's done, yeah. <laughs> hit, hit, crit, oh man. And yeah, and that is not enough. And Binary Pirate number two. Is that number two that has been removed? Oh, number one is actually still good, isn't he? Yep. Okay. There we go. Now I got it. And number two is dead. Dead, I tell you, dead. Okay. So we've dropped now to. The last Benares here. Oh, no, no, sorry. We got, uh, still got L3 to shoot. So this is, oh, okay, a quad jumper on. Reroll. 
Reroll from Drea because in arc, hit crit. And there we go. One evade and a focus, and he spent that to. There we go. Range three from that other gun runner. Two hits, solid. One of eight, I uh, spend the other one. One of eight spends the token, right? Yep. Range two, binary pilot. I have a focus. Spend the focus for hit hit. Range two. Oh, and he gets two. nothing. Back to dials. Wow, lots of shots. That's the one thing about these swarm lists is they just throw so many guns down the table. It's ridiculous how many guns they throw. Two dice, two dice, two dice, two dice, two, it adds up. It does, it really does. Okay, so we got Sean's in. Would you be able to get Scott's and or Brendan's as well? Thank you, sir. Oop, we got oh, a little bit of lost frames here. Sorry, guys. We're uh, running into a bit of an issue, but we got it. When he engages. Did we not have Brennan's list? I put this in. I already entered this list. Oh, I didn't see it. Maybe I was just looking wrong. He's the flying scum. Okay, hold on. Let me check again. Oh, no, it wasn't there last time I looked. Sorry. I might have spelled his name wrong. Let me just make sure that I've got this up to date here. Okay, I missed a little bit there while I was looking at other things. So we got Rexler's lost one, Vermeil's lost his shields, and we're good there. I do have it caught up now. Oh, I missed one on Jakku Gunrunner number five there. He's actually got one hit point left. So he's received his ionization, so I'm just going to remove that. A lot of thought going into these tiles here. This is why I don't fly so many ships, because I can't think that hard. It's 
I'm not good at that. I'm really terrible at it, actually. Me too. <laughs> last dial to go. Sebastian just gave the thumbs up on his. Patrick second guessing. Uh, looks like uh, Pierce a box dial. He's got to make some really careful maneuvers here. He's going to have to. in a dangerous location. Very, very. He's got uh, some serious problems coming up, I think, in this next couple rounds. We'll how see. Do you, how do you joust with six ships? All coming at you out of formation, taking up anywhere on the field they want. Uh, you mean eight ships? Well, no, it was seven. It was, yeah, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven. God, yeah. But one of them's going past. Oh, no, it's a, oh, but it's a quad. It's ionized, it can't get past it. Okay, it's ionized? It's ionized, he's not going anywhere. If he weren't, he could reverse. Uh, that body is ionized, right? Yep. So, he doesn't get a dial, right? No, I just put it there. So oh, okay, good. Could be like, could be like, well, I'm done. Yeah, okay. So Sebastian already got the point advantage. Or sorry, I should say Patrick already got the point advantage, uh, taking out one of those uh, pirates already. Yeah, that's why I said six. This this should be really interesting because if Sebastian can maneuver well, he can get in there and end up getting a whole lot of free shots on those ships. Now that said, Rex Brath can just sort of wade in and just take care of whatever the fuck he wants. He's kind of a beast that way. Yes, he is. I love Rexler. All right, so there. Jacku Gunrunner number five stays exactly where he is because he can't clear. So he does do the blue. So number six. Got a straight three. Getting right up in there. Turning in to go take care of Rexler. I guess he's just gonna let Vermeil slide right past. Plenty of slow roll going on here. The 
coordination is stressful. Yeah. Nice, drops him right on the rock. Takes a hit. Not looking good for Vermeil. And a uh, rip. Yeah, one forward. Not looking good for Vermeil at all. Dropped on that rock. Probably going to execute a maneuver, stay on the rock. Vermeil just got tractor beamed onto the asteroids. Oh, oh bad and then moved news. into a bunk, staying on the. So asteroid. did he get the bullseye arc and get the two on yes. that? Oh, that's beautiful. He did. Oh, that With is a red nice coordinated line. action from the. And Vermeil team. stays right where he is. That's bad news for him. He's already on the rock. He doesn't roll again. No, nope. he's not shooting this turn. He is not. And no actions, no movement. About to get pummeled. Yeah, he Hello. is gonna take some beats. Hey. Oh, yeah, we can. We, I, I'm sure we can find homes for those. And I'll take those to display with the other product. Oh, the thank you. Uh, and then, did you have any that are being given away end of weekend kind of thing that I need to put on display up there? Uh, oh, these. Okay. And then I've That's got, about it. I've got two movement or two. The two template holders. Yep. One has. Yeah. One has Empire. Nice, nice. So I put them over by the trophy. Okay. And, I've and, got and we're just doing black. draws for those, right? Yeah. Or are we doing and draws? Or are we, yeah. I, I was going to ask, do you want to use them as your best skins? Or do you want to use, I guess there's more than just best skins and two. Yeah. So I'll put those on the draw table. It's easier to just do them as a draw and table. And then I've yeah. got the flasks for first, second, third. Oh, yeah. Cool. And I've got flasks for your favorite opponent. Cool. I was uh, Jen, the organizer of Kippers Malie. She's just checking in with us, making sure everything's working good. Catching up on some of the prizing. And now I'm catching back up on what everything's going on here. Oh, oh. Rexler coming in and he's in a bad place. Rexler's in a bad place there. Wow. Bastion bringing the power today. Holy shit. He's, he's flying that swarm pretty well. He does. He's got some good uh, good flight discipline going on. He's got, making his bumps happen. That move there on Vermeil just now, that was golden. That getting the bullseye and pulling him onto the rock, absolutely beautiful. When that sort of stuff happens, it's just freaking gold. Yeah, Sebastian, or sorry, Patrick t uh, uh, tanking up there. So Drea has just bumped uh, pirate number four. So pirate number four will shoot at four on the stack. So first to shoot is going to be, uh, going to be Rexler here. Oh, we have a triple zero. So he gets the calculate token from triple zero. Am I missing something here? I'm missing triple zero on his 
Huh, interesting. Thought I had it. Just hallucinating. Oh, no, it is. Oh, no, I just missed it. It didn't go on the first time I had saved it. Hey, there we go. Now I'm going to fix that. There we go. And he spends it. He spends the focus to kill the target. Oh. Two, two hits, two crits. Down goes another Zed. Yeah, that is Zed number one has just taken like top deck lethal. So uh, full hit, damage. Hit, full hit, damage, hit. yo. Full damage. Uh, nope, nope. The damage has to be dealt in a previous turn. Oh really? Yeah. Because it um, it happens during the da during the damage dealing when okay, cards haven't been applied yet. And he's lost shields. There we go. Now we're caught up. We lost number one. Ooh, Benary Pirate. Bit the big one. So two Benaras down. Okay. a range one. So That's right. Change one, right? Three dice. Three dice. Yeah, two plus one. Turn up for two. There we go. And it looks like he's gonna. He's just gonna spend the focus, or did he? Oh no, no, he doesn't have the focus to spend anymore. He's thinking hard about whether to spend out of eight or not. He's gonna spend that evade. One hit. One. So that's one more hit on Rexler. Did you did you spend the evade? Um, did I didn't spend it. No. Okay, good, good. Oh, and evades another one. You're a force. Or your four. Uh, there we go. That's a range two. Okay, so we got Vermeil, range two into. And because he spent like in turn one for crits. There we go. So that ends up being double crits. Wow, blank, blank. That was on. That's shields oh, on the escape on, craft. Oh, that's shields on the escape craft down. Oh, really? one, three dice. Reroll. So a single crit. You, oh, you don't have a dice, right? Oh, no dice at all. So that's just uh, a single crit into... Into Vermeil, okay. Just catching myself up here. Vermeil's taken three this round so, so, so far. Yeah. Woo. All right, and then we're back into dials. And Sebastian pushing hard. He's got half now on Vermeil. Still has lost two ships though, so Patrick's on uh, points total. Running out of firepower, Patrick. That's right. Or Sebastian. Patrick is slowly yeah. chipping away at Sebastian's That's guns the thing there. About swarms. They're really powerful in the beginning of the game. But as they get chipped away at, they really, you really notice that power drop. You do. You notice every the drop. ship you lose. That's a lot of dice you're not throwing anymore. Coming up, on just under half an hour left in this first round here at Kippers Malie. Oh, it 
looks like on one of the bottom tables right now, we got a match over. Looks like James and Jonas is done. Uh, we'll be reporting on that one in just a moment. on right now. That was a lot of shots and a lot of damage slung last round. are almost down. Patrick's still thinking of his last dial here. All right, Sebastian just gave the thumbs up. He is dialed in. Looks like our first game has wrapped up. Yeah, yeah, uh, James and Jonas. Yeah. Just waiting on uh, the here they report are here. Hey, Jonas, uh, how'd it come? Two nice. For Jonas. It's fine. You, you can track it if you want, but we're also tracking it here, so. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this thing is docked, and it needs the shield. Did you get that back? Yep, sure does. Carry on, gentlemen. Sure, they've been. 
25 minutes left, X-Wing. A little announcement from uh, Jen, the organizer here at Kippers. Just thanking everybody for coming out. And informing us all the bar is open. The bar is now open. It's 11 a.m. The bar is open. That's right. Do you know where your adults are? And suddenly the competition got a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> the rules following became questionable after the announcement that the bar had been open. Really, as long as the TOs don't get too drunk, everything's fine. Oh, I don't plan on drinking. No, exactly. There he is, moving along. And getting rid of hey, his last. Uh, so I destroyed 200. Nice, congrats. And I lost uh, 65. Nice, part three. Where is the mouse? Where? Oh, hold on. Where's Sometimes it doesn't want to register. <laughs> I have uh -oh. no mouse. There's the mouse. Okay, who won? What was your points? Uh, Ooh, he's swinging it around. He's wielding those guys like a bit of a club. Uh, Very good, sir. People were sharing templates from the look of it. Nobody knew whose was whose, so that was an interesting little bit there. Uh, looks like Sabak is still fresh. Uh, Rexler is dropped to a single shield. I missed that. Pure Sabak. That's still good. Vermeil has taken three. All right, I am definitely caught up on that. Oh, L3 moving on up. Looks like a collision with Two the Reaper. Zero. What table As expected. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was brought to the, I took one damage from my own bomb. That was it. Nice. Death range, Dude. So, so well it done. Was, <laughs> it was not fantastic. <laughs> he farted. Oh. Uh, he only attacked me. He only attacked us twice the entire game. He farted two shots. Wow. Uh, I killed it. I just uh, killed everyone uh, else. I fought for block or out of arc. Nice. Well played. With Fat base, go for it, man. Yeah. Well, no, but he has bombers. I had fire ships. I was hard dodging those fire ships. Wow. <laughs> oh well. So that was uh, Kalen and Richard got the we got the results into that. Kalen advancing. Uh, Richard getting the loss. Looks like uh, Kalen actually tabled him 200 to nothing. That's rough. About a mess. He's going to use his ailerons to just slide forward into uh, Rexler there. And there we go, bump into Rexler. <laughs> A little nudge with everybody else. And then he is trying to bank out. Do we have the room? Yes, it looks like he does just fit there. Interesting. Very nice. Oh, and he's going to jam Drea. Yeah, 
and that immediately drops that focus. So Odrea no longer with any mod. Pierce back, turning in. Really going for that gunrunner number six from the look of it there. Oh man, or maybe a good shot on L3. Oh, that was the ailerons and then a slide up collision on L3. So L3 is not taking damage from Sabak this round. And finally, Rex Brath doing that standard K turn four from the defender there. Nothing like a white K turn four, eh, Bally? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Vader on Drea. Yeah, so Drea is going to lose a shield. Oh, and then he's triple zeroing. So Drea takes a Vader crunch. And triple zero, looks like he's triple zeroing on the uh, binary number four there. Binary number four will clear the focus. Gonna get down, calculate. All right, Rexler gonna attempt to uh, Rexler something there. He's got range two on the gun runner. Range two on gun runner. I think looks like gun runner number six is still fresh. One more hit point. Both have focus. Gun runner. Or don't don't shoot the gun runner. You can't kill it. No. Yeah, oh, there he is. Into the gun runner. And hit focus. Yeah, Why are you not rolling or a crit focus? Oh, and he gets an evade, but it, it gets juked to the focus, and he turns one up. Oh, there we go. He's focusing fire. Gunrunner. Oh, no, Gunrunner evaded it. We got three hits from Sabak, two hits into Gunrunner number six. Pop, pop. I've been trying to use the dice pit or the overlay. I'm not fast enough for that. I'm not going to bother anymore. Sorry, guys. And we got Vermeil. Taking one. And Vermeil into, oh man. We got Calculate. And because the no token turn up, so two hits, and Drea takes one. Oh, I guess she already took no, one. No shot. No shot. Yeah, there we go. So now I've caught up properly. Two no shot. Range two. Range two. Two dice, one we roll. So the gun runner is shooting into uh, Rexler here. Natty's two hits. And oh, Rexler has an option. He's gonna spend the evade and take one. Rexler has lost all shields now. That's half on Rexler. That has just pushed Sebastian into the point advantage. He's gonna have to fight to keep it. Uh, that Venere hit crit into Rexler. And two evades gets 
He go, he nopes the heck out of that one. This round sweep and set. X-wing, 15 minutes. Tight game this one, tight game. Still anybody's game. Still can go anywhere. Uh, Vermeil is going to have to get his ass out. Yes, Vermeil. Um, Vermeil cannot focus. handle the focus fire that he is going to get. Pierce back, still just in there dishing it though. Hasn't even taken anything. Still 100% fresh. That's where he wants to be. Yep. Keep those high dice rolls. Yeah, you got it, man. Well, and you get you put other scarier ships in there, so they feel like, oh well, fuck Sabak, are gonna go kill Rexler, are gonna go kill Vermeil. So we'll see how that strategy works. Still waiting on uh, the dials here. Patrick taking his time with Rexler. I don't blame him. Um, he's got to think hard about where he wants to put that ship because he does not want to lose it. He cannot afford to lose a ship or give up any more margin at this point. Not in the slightest. Well, they're both kind of juggling along that line right now. Yeah, well, we got 74 on point, Patrick sure and 77 for Sebastian. That half points on Vermeil has pushed him over Sorry, the half points on Rexler, half points on Vermeil. That's what's getting it for him right now. Pierce Sabak, of course, is still just killing it. I was not happy. <laughs> Sounds like some bad news. On I'm gonna go find yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, a lot of oh no's from table six. So, either a mistake or some crazy dice rolls. Yeah, there is Sebastian turning in. So we're just templating Sabak here. Oh, look at that. Barrel rolling Sabak up onto the rock. There we go. And no damage. But it looks like he's going to have to go uh, over the rock again because his nubs are just inside on that rock. Them quads, man. The power of the tractor beam. Power of the tractor beam compels you. No, like really, move. Yeah. <laughs> Literally compels you. Yeah. Wow, this... This is a great game to watch. A lot of really good flying going on here.
Wexler with that tractor token. And pushed him forward just a little bit. Gave him a boost. We got L3 doing a bank up, coming around. Watch L3 put the finishing damage into Vermeil. Might happen. It's a legit thing that could happen. He's just going to focus on or calculate himself. One forward. And you were meant to calculate for L3, right? Yes, correct. Thank you. Okay. I do have one of those outside. Yeah, no worries. There we go. Andrea's going to focus up. Of course, she's got that uh, side art going on with the dorsal turret. It's got a nice. Like a nice little space there for Rexler to move into. There's Vermeil getting turned around. Getting out of dodge. Yeah, he's getting out, but he might end up but with still some shots. to shoot. And there's Sabak going over the rock. And he's going to roll for no damage again. That is a lucky Sabak. And there's his actual maneuver. He is turning the hell around. Uh, you overlap the rock. That's right. Nope, that is true. Oh, no, that's right. I turned it up. Rexler actually got past, took that a free evade action for his full throttle, and now he's thinking about whether or not to maneuver or focus from the look of it. Tough choice. He's going to be taking shots from Drea. It is. He's, he's gotten right down to the table so he can really look along those lines. And, yep, that's what you do. You token up. Turtle it up. So, no, sh so no shots. Uh, he's going to swarm up on L3. So no Vader. Okay, so L3 swarmed up at PS4 is taking, uh, getting a range three shot on Vermeil. Send it for one hit. And Vermeil totally natties that out with two evades. What he needs, got range three working for him. Yep. Oh, range one. I'll take the range one. So range one into Rexler from look at that, two hits. And he's gonna use both tokens to get out of that. That's why you token up. That's right. Looks like either of his shots are going to be range three. So he's going to try it. He's going to try to put a bit more damage into the Y wing because it's got less defense dice. Oh no, he has decided instead to shoot on L3. Three dice from Vermeil. So he spent the force and his ability for hit, hit, hit. L3 blanks. And so hit, hit, and a crit. And 
that is L3. Just like in the movies, L3 has been destroyed. Uh, yeah. Spoiler! <laughs> so we got uh, just over four minutes left. Uh, Patrick really pushing back really hard right now, getting that point advantage by getting L3 off the board. We got one damage. Oh, finally one on Sabak. And that looks like end of round. Wow, number of guns on the table has significantly dwindled. And yet Patrick is still at full chips. He is. He First, has given has some half he's points. given half on two of them. Um, but he just put himself back into the lead by getting rid of L3. Uh, it's now 85 to 77. Uh, at this point, I think uh, Sebastian has to go for the kill on Vermeil. I honestly feel like that is the better option for him. Might be right, probably the easiest kill to get at but this point, given the that, ability. Yeah, and, but that Reaper can be remarkably hard to pin down. Yes, it can. Congrats on your win. Those ailerons. Yeah, go ahead. So, subtle stress. Yeah. Knock. Yeah. Keep the stress. Yes, I think. Because <laughs> uh, it hasn't done a move to execute. Yeah. Um, and I believe it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Non-round token. Oh. Uh, when it, re when it uh, is you know, removed and put into reserve again. So I'd have to check on that. It's so. basically when you redeploy it, redeploy blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For now, that's how I'm going to rule it. If you guys think I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. I always like knowing I'm wrong. X-Wing, three minutes. Guys, just so you know, it's two minutes. You might be on last turn here. Yeah. Patrick, Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, like I everything's so serious right now. I feel like oh yes, his reverse maneuvers. Everybody forgets that the quad jumpers got reverse. Oh, I see what he's doing here. He's trying to get in and get those last couple hits. Pincer maneuver. I'm not sure he's going to get the damage he needs, but this should be interesting. turn one from that quaddy right there. Trying to get in on the fight on Vermeil. Uh, probably, probably. I'm. If I was uh, Patrick right now, I wouldn't put Vermeil near anything. I would be peeling well, the he hell out and trying have, to maintain He doesn't points. have his adaptive as he is currently stressed. That's true. So he's down to a maximum three speed maneuver. How'd you do? Darwin's up in here. Yeah, I know, but he's got his wedge. So. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Did you guys bring any extra like bits or something? All of my bits. I forgot my proton bombs. I can help you with that. Okay. <laughs> so what was the final then? Um, you got two hundred. Two hundred to ninety. Yeah, so this will be last round, guys. You got half on. Oh, no, X-wing. On one minute. On, uh, Dutch. And last round. I got my app going. If you want to put my list in now. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Great. We'll get that from you in a second. So 297, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Hey, how you doing? You doing great? Yeah. You got the warm machine for it? Yeah. So much to do today. It's just so gorgeous. Yeah. Eight dashes. Seven freaking dashes. It's so gross. It's beautiful. Another guy's 
Time is up. Just hit the uh, re uh, refresh button there. There you go. What is the beeping? It's it's that. Wait. Oh, do I, is it on here too? There it's that. Or it's not. What is beeping? Is it your battery? No. I don't know. Uh, I let it go to sleep. Do you have two live tests? What are we No. I just got your chips. Oh. So what did you, what do you got? Uh, Dutch has got Ionic Cannon. Yep. Uh, proton. <laughs> proton bombs. <laughs> <laughs> tough calls. Uh, tough calls here in the last round. Our four asters. We got some really tough decisions being made. Okay. Wedge. Wedge has got proton torpedoes. Yep. Swarm tactics. Looks like Rex are taking that range. Uh, 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 How'd you do? It's a lot of protons. <laughs> Sorry, how'd you do? Unsurprised. Uh, 200 points to 92, my favorite. Target locking those into hit. blanks. Uh, One hit. Like right in there. And he... Oh, range two. He rolled too many dice. Let's re-roll that. Oh, but it's obstructed. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Only two. Only two. It is one damage to Andrea. 48 and 200. Andrea hasn't quite given up half yet. Oh boy, Andrea has uh, look at range two. Damn wedge, man. Yeah, range two primary coming in on. Might have made a difference. Oh, two hits. Wow. And he takes one. Rough. That is half on Sabak now. Oh man. This is still anybody's game. Nope. You already had a hit. Oh, you need. How much is left on the on the one? One hit, Andrea. One the defense side. Andrea's gonna roll that one defense die. And blanks it out. Takes one more, Andrea. Oh, schnarbles. Is that half, Andrea? Ladies and gentlemen, that's half, Andrea. Patrick pushing himself back into the lead. Range two on that lonely little Jakku. Gunrunner. So hit crit coming at him, and he blanks it. Jackie number six, half points. Ooh. And then we're dropping to one. Jacku back in. Oh boy! Oh, Nelly. And he natties it up. And he takes one more. Vermeil keeps it alive. 
going to try and get that last shot in on Tabak. Reload. Oh, reroll from Drea. One hit. And oh, not quite enough. Final score, 123 for Patrick, 100 for Sebastian. That was a serious game of give and take. Well flown, gentlemen. Well flown. Oh man, that was a great game. We will, we're gonna be moving on with some of the stuff from round two in just a few minutes. Thanks everybody for joining us. Don't forget to leave comments in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time here on the mat.